In a recent interview with FMT, Tourism, Arts and Culture Minister Nancy Shukri shared her take on what makes Sarawak an ideal tourist destination. The native Sarawakian said her home state was the go-to place for ecotourism, food, culture and tradition, specifically mentioning several places of interest. Nancy lists the Sarawak Cultural Village, an award-winning living museum spanning 6.8 hectares and located about an hour from Sarawak's capital of Kuching as her favourite stopover. According to Nancy, the cultural village can best be described as a mini Sarawak. She said a stop at this traditional village is a must while on holiday here, as one is able to see replicas of traditional homes that Malay, Malanao, Chinese, Bidayo and Iban families used to live in. It also gives the curious tourist a once-in-a-lifetime peek into the everyday lives of the people, as well as their rich, unique culture and heritage. Uh, Sarawak Cultural Village, uh, that's the location for them to hold the Rainforest Festival, uh, which, has, which is uh, held every two years. She said yet another must-visit destination is the larger-than-life Gunung Mulu National Park that have been declared a UNESCO heritage site. And for those who like to go for uh, trekking, go for um, uh, cave, caving, well, Molu is the place. It is already a UNESCO um, heritage uh, uh, site. She added that while doing a spot of touring in the city centre can be fascinating, venturing out on the road less travelled can give one a more in-depth and profound feel of what Sarawak is truly about. It's my pride, my pride of what I can see share with people is the longest river crossing bridge in Malaysia at the moment, the uh, Batang Sadong Bridge. And we're going to have our Batang Sadong Bridge Marathon run very soon. So um, yeah, I would like to see more people coming in. Srawa is also well known for its wide range of mouth-watering hawker favourites that are simply too hard to resist. While the classics like Mikolo and Laksa are well known and much loved, she encourages tourists to sample the more unique delicacies and specialties that the state has to offer. Take brasa for instance. A specialty of the Bugis people, brasa is a rice dumpling cooked with coconut milk and packed in a banana leaf pouch. Meanwhile, Sarawak's version of Laksa is noodles dunked in a sumptuous flavorful broth made from prawns harvested from the very rivers native to the area. Of course, our our midin, sayo midin, they call it, because it's just plucked by the by the roadside, and they, you know, you just cook it, very nice. And of course, um, we have the the, the fish here, it can throw boat, huh? uh, but that one is seasonal. Feeling deep pride and love for her home state, Nancy acknowledged, however, that many misconceptions still persist about Sarawak and its people. The most common being that its natives live on trees. She said it is her mission to promote the real Sarawak, a state that has embraced development and modernity yet is profoundly proud of its rich culture, racial diversity, warm hospitality and natural heritage. Nancy expressed hope that more tourists, both foreign and domestic, would visit Sarawak once its borders were fully open to international travel.